Hello everybody, welcome to Edgeless Rock. Today I'm going to share with you another site in the beautiful Caribbean country of Belize. It is definitely a lesser known country for its megalithic site. Besides the famous crystal clay waters, Belize has many pyramids and one of the famous pyramids in Belize is in Lamanai. The Mayas in Belize has a long history of existence. Lamanai civilization spent 3,200 years, thus making it the longest occupied civilization in Mesoamerican history. Mayan inscription reads Lam An Ain. The Mayan word is Lama Anain. It means submerged crocodile. Within this 500 stretch in Orange Walk district, there are three main pyramidal monuments to see. It is quite disappointing to note that there is hardly anything meaningful you can find on the internet in terms of dimensions and layout. At 33 meters high, the high temple perched above the canopy effortlessly. It is an amazing sight to see from an aerial view. As you can see from this photo, it is partially excavated. If without any trees growing on top of it, you can see a white structure against the green background. High Temple is not only high but also very steep. A tourist fell and broke her spine. So to say that Mayas built this as a temple is something I have to pause and rethink. Such a structure can get many priests killed and therefore it is not a good idea. Why would the Maya spend so much effort making something dangerous for the priest? The stairs are evidently too steep for humans on a daily basis. A rope for safety is used by almost everyone. I just feel that it goes to show it is against common sense to use it as a temple let alone build one. I am not sure how this is a temple. Is it because there is no dead body and therefore it is not a tomb? There isn't much to conclude on the top and therefore it is not a palace. If it is neither a palace nor a tomb, then it must be a temple. This conclusion is too simple. The Jagua temple is equally impressive. It stands at about 20 meters tall as it is but could be taller as the base is still not fully excavated. This pyramidal temple is very unique. Blocks of stones were neatly arranged to look like a 13 feet jaguar decorating the front of the pyramidal temple. So after stacking few hundred thousand stone blocks, we have very little idea how this pyramid was actually used as a temple. We call this temple jaguar temple or jaguar mass temple because there is a stone arrangement that looks like a jaguar. It is believed to be 1500 years old. The Mars Temple is also very unique. The faces at the bottom, known as Mars, gave this temple its name. It is believed to be 2,200 years old. These limestone faces have no story to tell. It is very strange to me that such a structure can be made a temple. Where is the typical identity of a temple? Where is the inscription of God and Goddesses? Where are the statues of the deities? I find it strange to think that the Mayas stack a few hundred thousand stone blocks for a religion that has no statue or carving of their gods. All you have for guessing is a 15 feet limestone mass. This pyramid is called a Stella Temple because of Stella No. 9. It is the first monument that can be deciphered in Lamanai. Here is what it reads. It was on seven Ahau tree pop that the tree stone of time ended. He had become ruler 17 years, 4 days before on 6 Kip Sfor Zek. He was the youngest son of the heir to Sun Shak. His name was Lord Smoking Shell. His celestial progenitor was the Spirit Crocodile, Lord of the East of the province of Lama An Ain. This is supposed to be a god king with a headdress of a serpent that symbolizes his serpent or crocodile descendants. He is seen wearing a goggle and has a snake coming out of his mouth. If you ask alien theories, this god king was from a reptilian race. 
The God King with goggle and a snake by the mouth is probably a visitor with advanced apparatus. So don't be surprised when you see Mayas are also very much into alien arts. These alien looking artifacts are both arts and facts that most likely prove they saw aliens. I would like to take this opportunity to highlight an interesting similarity when compared to the Olmec heads. The prominent nose and thick lips are not facial feature of a typical Mesoamerican. We do not know who these faces are. At this site, we have four large monuments which in reality, we do not know their actual name and function. For a site like this, I am pretty sure there should be a structure called Palace for the King with real functioning rooms. Why should there be four large temples anyway? For a large community over 3000 years, we shouldn't be guessing what it is. Well, that's all for today. Hope my short presentation opens up your mind to other possibilities of its origin based on simple logic and see you next time. Adios, hasta luego.